Hello, dear audience. Hello. Good afternoon. It's one o'clock and it's Wednesday, summertime. So this summer, we have learned Chinese in Taiwan, special sessions with Chinese language centers with the universities in Taiwan. So if you're interested in learning Chinese, you can learn it online. If you want to do that, please just join us, watch us live on Facebook. So today we have invited uh, Fu Ren Catholic University, Fu Ren Da Xue, the Chinese Language Center teachers. They're going to share with you the information about the Language Center at Fu Ren University. And uh, we have uh, Amy and Eric, right? Can you please wave your hands? Hi. Yes, Hi. Amy and Eric. They are at Fu Ren University. And the university has a very long history of 50 years of teaching Chinese at the university. They have very professional teachers and small classes, and they also provide on-campus dormitory for international students. So if you are thinking about learning Chinese, please, you can think about this university and the language center at Wuhan University. And without further ado, so Amy and Eric, are you ready to do your presentation? Yes. Okay, please, please start. Thank you, Ivy. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Amy. I come from Fujian Catholic University. And hi, my name is Eric. <laughs> uh, I also work in the CCLC in Fujian Catholic University. Okay. Um, okay, we'll start to introduce our center. Oh, by the way, even though we're Catholic University, but don't worry. If you are not Christian, you still can join us. Neither am I. And I think Erica doesn't. Yeah, isn't. I'm, I'm not Catholic as well. Yeah. So um, here, okay, let's start it. Um, uh, Fujian Catholic University, we are located in New Taipei City. It's only 30 minutes away from Taipei City Center. But how far is 30 minutes? If we have a Taipei metro system, and actually we are the only university who has our own station. So the station name is Fujing University. It's easy to find, so it's not too far away from the Taipei city, but however, the living cost will be a little bit less expensive. Um, we have the six student cafeterias inside campus and also off campus we have a lot of restaurants, fast food, of course, McDonald's, KFC, most burgers, Subway. Also we have the um, Japanese style food, Chinese style food, Taiwanese style food, a lot. But for more convenient, it's we have the convenience store, 7-Eleven or Family Mart. In, in campus or off campus, we also have the supermarket just inside the campus in the main gate, near the main gate. We have Costco nearby, a lot of grocery store. So it's really, really convenient for living in campus. Uh, also, we have a clinic on the campus and we have our own university hospital. So for a living, it's more, it's very convenient. Uh, our center, uh, of course, we have a formal title, it's Language Center. However, we already changed to Center of Chinese Language and Culture. That's why, just Eric said, um, come, we come from CCLC. We found it in 1961, so that means uh, we already, it's a really, really historic center. Um, actually, we are the second Chinese language center established in Taiwan. That means we have the most skillful and we have the most experience of teaching Chinese for students. Over, it's over 50 years. Of course, we have skillful teachers with the uh, private teaching methods. However, uh, for at least over 15 years, we believe that small classes, it's the best way to teach students. 
That's why until now, even the group class, we're still holding the four to seven student class. For example, if it's a four to seven student in class, that means you have more chance to have conversation with teachers. If there's seven students, only seven students, for try to do the conversation practice, that means two students become a pair and one student can, uh, can talk to teacher, do a lot of practice within the same teaching hours. So that's what we say, uh, we do for over 50 years. Uh, of course, you have uh, a lot of reason you can, we, we, we recommend you to choose our center. Uh, however, the important part of if you come to Taiwan or you join the, the class in Taiwan to learn Mandarin, that means you can have an all Mandarin environment. However, your, your classmate may come from all the other countries, but in the classroom, the same language of you guys is Chinese, it's Mandarin. And so you can talk with your classmates, practice a lot. And also our center is inside the uh, university campus. That means you can have the ability and you have the activity to join the, our department activity. You can meet the university student. Maybe the language is changed or the activity who holds by the, or any department. Also, you can have the chance for service learning because we are the, the Catholic University. So we, our center hold the activity is go to the, the tribe and you can have a chance to know the culture beside the, the normal China, uh, Taiwanese people can see. You can learn uh, some about the history and a different way to see Taiwan. Uh, also, uh, in our center, our, we're teaching the traditional Chinese characters, but we use pinyin. For now, pinyin is the most easy way and the most um, public way for foreign students to learn Chinese. It's not so hard, so don't worry. <laughs> we have the, the different kind of courses, and I can explain to you later. However, the regular course is for the 15 hours per week. We have the quarters, so let me three months, 180 hours. Um, for the, the other kind of class, we have the same level compared with your regular class. So that means after you learn about the pronunciation, you will if you continue for the next three months, you will uh, move to the conversation class. And later, maybe for the talk book class or for like even higher level, you will join the news or the like the professional different kind of class you can choose. And for some special class, if you want, you can join for the um, individual class. For example, some student here, they will ask for the Catholic kind of the class for special hours that also works. Okay, for we also hold about a uh, cultural events, field trip, and the most special part is we have Christmas party. Um, Christmas party will be a big event in our center. Uh, of course, it's also a big event in our university. We have all the centers, even though include us, staff and teachers, we will have some programs and we will invite some um, ambassador and our president, vice president in our university to join the Christmas party. Okay. Oops. Okay. Um, about the study tour, maybe it's, um, you can like a group of your school or your friends, but you need to have most the same level to become a group. The detail need to be contact with us by email. The most important part. <laughs> uh, we have a general course, have 12 weeks per quarter, 15 hours per week. That means you have like 180 hours 
three months class. That's for the four to seven students. For winter, spring, and summer, and um, if you want to like go into the university or master degree in the university, if you started to learn the Mandarin from the what we say really really beginner, that means even from the pronunciation, at least at least you need to have one year course. For the TOEFL test, that means at least you need to pass the A2. A2 is comparably the um, SHK, uh, HSK test, it's level four, okay? That's the basic level you, if you want to apply for the degree, no matter the degree it's for the university, a bachelor degree or master degree. What if you say you want to have the, for the English class, English degree, I mean, English teaching degree, um, no matter which language for the teaching, however, you still need to do your report. You still need to have conversation with your teacher and your classmates. So actually A2 or what I say is HSK level four will be the basic needed. For some students, um, if they want to apply for the kind of the professional, more professional bachelor degree, for example, if they want to have the um, history department or Chinese language department, for if this kind of department, all the textbook will be in Chinese, that means at least you need to pass B1. That means uh, HSK level five. If you want to study for the um, what's it, um, medical, yes, medical department, that means you at least you need to pass B2. It's level six over level, level six. So for the student who want to do for the, any degree or any university, um, of course, Mandarin is the basic required. Um, for the tuition fee, for the every quarter will be an appropriately US dollar one thousand. It's not include the textbook and the living space and the dormitory. That's just the tuition. Okay. If you want to have the individual class or two to three student class, and you need to uh, email us to ask for the detail. Of course, for the tuition will be different. Uh, some students will interest about the scholarship. Uh, I will introduce two kinds of scholarship. For the scholarship, what we call Taiwan scholarship, it's from uh, the Ministry of Education, what we say is MOE. The MOE Taiwan scholarship actually lasts for the degree. Okay, If you want to apply for degree for the scholarship, that's not your choice. If you want to learn Mandarin, so the the, down, uh, the, the other one is called Huayu. Huayu scholarship is also hosted by the MOE, Ministry of Education. That's for only for the Mandarin. The MOE Huayu scholarship has three months, six months, nine months, and a year. So that's the difference. Actually, for Previous students, some students, they will apply for the Huawei scholarship to learn for one year of the um, Mandarin. And after apply for the Taiwan scholarship of MOE to continue the degree uh, for her master degree. That also works for, uh, of course, tuition is not included in the scholarship. The stipend will be given every month, but you still need to pay the tuition. So if you're interested in about a scholarship, please go on the website for check for more detail. Uh, our university and our center provide the dormitory. However, the dormitory is a gender separate. separate. We have female dormitory and male dormitory. Um, for the dormitory, <laughs> we have a, we, of course, we provide something, but the shower room and the restroom, it's outside the, outside the 
your your bedroom. That's the point. Some students, if you don't you don't really get use of this kind of dormitory, uh, off campus we also have the off campus, but not dormitory. Off campus that means you need to rent for a house. However, for the foreign student, it's a little bit hard to sign a short term contract. So some student, if they are planning to stay in Taiwan more than one year, for example, one year and half to learn Mandarin, they will they will stay in the dormitory for first three months or six months to get used of the environment, to get used of the maybe like the temperature or the living style in Taiwan, and then they started to search. It um, to find a house or find a roommate to share. Okay, that's another way. Uh, for the study tour program, I need Eric's help because he's the professional. <laughs> okay, please. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. So um, I'm the coordinator of the study program in the center. Um, we usually collaborate it, uh, that means work, with other universities to create a group to come to our center to study Mandarin. And then the program is fully customized. Uh, the, the school will tell us how many hours you need, and then we will create a program like this. Uh, not just the Chinese courses, we also have co uh, cultural classes and field trips so that when you come to Taiwan, you can experience the culture and learn Mandarin. And then you can also do the field trip to see beautiful scenery in Taiwan. Yeah. Okay. Uh, these are the photos that we have when the study tour come to Taiwan. Uh, when you arrive in Taiwan, we will go to the airport to pick you up. And then uh, once you pick you up, we come to the school and then we will arrange the dormitory for you. Some of the school will choose to um, live outside of campus. That's also fine as well. And when the study tour program starts, we will have an opening and orientation, and then we will do a placement test. This is very, very important. Uh, we do the placement test so that we know the student's level. And then once we know the level, we will arrange the students to uh, put them into the small classes. And then uh, you will learn with your classmates with the same level. So it's more efficient to learn Mandarin this way. And then uh, when the tour program finish, we will do a closing banquet and then the certificate issuing uh, ceremony to prove that you have learned uh, the Mandarin until a certain level, and then to encourage students to uh, have another chance to come to Taiwan to learn. Yes. And uh, like my colleague said, uh, our center, has the, the Chinese classes that we have, uh, it's all four to seven students in each class. So this way, students will have more opportunities to practice conversation uh, either with their classmates and the teacher. So you can see in the picture, they're all small groups. And uh, this one you can see uh, our students are from all over the world. So it's also a great opportunity to, uh, while you're learning Mandarin, you can also meet uh, friends from other countries and then to learn their culture, uh, to communicate with them, and then especially to make uh, foreign friends. Yes. Wow, a lot of different cultural class or the activities. <laughs> yes, uh, besides the Chinese courses, uh, our center also have a different cultural classes. I'm just showing partial here, just uh, mm -hmm. some of the cultural classes that we would like to introduce to you. Uh, the first one is seal cutting or uh, carving class. So the teacher will teach you how to carve your own design on a seal and then once you carve it after the class, you get to keep the, your own seal. Uh, it's that kind of class. And the Tai Chi boxing, the teacher will teach you the basic moves of Tai Chi boxing. And the pineapple cake making class uh, is that we will bring students to a traditional pastry factory to learn uh, the famous snack, the, the history of the famous snack, pineapple cake. And then you can also uh, make it from scratch. So it's really, really fun. And after that, you can uh, have your own pack of pineapple cake home. Yes. And then the calligraphy class, uh, the teacher will teach you 
how to practice a different Chinese script style uh, to write on the, the paper. And then in the end of the class, you get to keep uh, your own Chinese brush. And uh, last but not least is the paper cutting class. Uh, teacher will teach you how to cut beautiful and create beautiful paper cutting uh, work. Yes. So here it's a famous Taiwan sightseeing place. Uh, yes, <laughs> <laughs> because we also bring students to do the field trips throughout the year. Uh, each year we have different um, places to visit. Uh, since our school is located in the northern Taiwan, it's New Taipei City. Uh, we choose. There are a lot of places that's worth to visit in the New Taipei City. Uh, we bring students to Ye Liu before. Uh, as you can see, it's the top left picture. Uh, Ye Liu is a geo park, uh, which means you can see different kinds of shapes of stone. Uh, in the picture, you can see it's the iconic uh, queen's head. So the the shape is like a queen's head. Yes. And then the National Palace Museum is really, really famous in Taiwan. It has nearly 700,000 pieces of artworks uh, of the ancient Chinese imperial time. So uh, when the students visit there, we also arrange a museum docent, like a guide, to uh, make students understand uh, the history of those artworks. The Zhuming Art Museum, it's a big museum. It's actually the largest museum, outdoor museum in New Taipei City. It also shows uh, great artworks of the famous Taiwanese uh, sculptor. It's called Zhu Ming. Yes. And here we have Zhou Fen. It's on the top left picture. It's also really famous. Uh, the architecture there, the buildings there, you can see it's all really uh, fine preserves from uh, it, it has a long history, so uh, you can also buy uh, different traditional Taiwanese food and then do different activities there. And uh, Inga, it's on the bottom left picture. Uh, you can see students are doing pottery on their own because Inga is a small town uh, that has, it's famous for the pottery uh, porcelain, those kind of things. So uh, we bring students there. They can make their own pottery. And then after the trip, you get to bring the work with you. Yes. And then Sansha uh, on the top right corner, uh, it's a place. It's also famous for its uh, old street. You can also see traditional buildings there. Uh, there are many shops and stores and vendors there uh, to sell traditional food and toys. It also has a really uh, historical uh, temple there. Uh, we also bring students there to do the blue dyeing DIY. Uh, blue dyeing is a technique uh, to Taiwanese, uh, like in the past times, uh, Taiwanese people will do this to dye the cloth. So you can see in the picture, every student has its own cloth. So after the trip, you get to bring your work home as well. And here we have Pingxi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pingxi is really famous place for its activity called Sky Lantern. Uh, because Taiwanese people believe that you write your wishes on the mm -hmm. Sky Lantern and set them off, we believe it, it will come true. Uh, Pingxi is also really famous for its natural scenery. And a Zhang Kai Shik Memorial Hall is a national monument uh, to erect it. Uh, to uh, in the memory of Chiang Kai-shek, uh, its former president of Republic of China. And then uh, last but not least, it's the Taipei 101. Uh, it's a skyscraper and the elevator, it's really fast. You can take the elevator up to see to a platform to see the whole Taipei uh, in just one minute. So it's a really um, great place to visit in Taiwan. Oh, oh, so sorry. that means uh, we see a lot of place, but um, okay, it's a pity we didn't we didn't send the put a lot of picture about the food. <laughs> Actually, we have a lot of famous food and delicious food. However, if you join, like uh, we bring students to all all the place, you can have a lot of chance to have a great food. Okay, <laughs> um. For like, until now, the Taiwanese border is still closed. 
So actually, for the student who want to uh, join the class, join the uh, to study Mandarin, mostly uh, we say we, we believe that learning language the best way, uh, the best way is to in go in to this country in this environment. However, if you really want to learn, but since the border is closed, it's not open for the visa. It's not open for the flight. Um, you can contact us for like if you want to have the individual class online for like learning the basic. And after the border opened, you can come and join. Um, you can try several ways. Uh, you can go on the and you can go to the uh, write the email to email us or um, uh, having a phone call will be a little bit expensive. It's not <laughs> really suggest. OK, uh, you can also go to the Facebook to leave the message and we can answer you the question. Okay. Um, thanks for the um, PowerPoint part. And we have a short video to introduce our center, our school. I hope you guys join the video first. Thank you. Thank you. 
And uh, thank you for thank you for this time for joining our live uh, to introduce our school and our center. We hope there is a chance, no matter you are interested in learning Chinese or you are interested in studying for the degree before that, you still need to get use of the Mandarin. So no matter what, please feel free to contact us for the, any question for even the online course or visa or scholarship, okay? Um, either way. So thanks for listening. Thank you for joining. And this is Amy. This is Eric. Thank you. Bye-bye.